Can you tell it's December now in 2021 and we're getting a little bit festive? Um, anyway, look, here is a new product from the wonderful people at DSM Humboldt. A relatively small uh, electronics and engineering kind of guitar effecty firm mm -hmm. based out of Santiago. Yes, have you ever um, been? I've never been. I have been. Right I've at the heard. foot of the mountains, the Andes Mountains. Yeah. There. I'd love to go. Santiago, uh, Chile. I've never, I've never really done any, apart from like, you know, super touristy Mexico holidays. I've never been anywhere in I South mean, America. The only I'd problem is go. flying there because you have to fly over the Andes, which is one of the roughest flights I've had really? in my entire life. I mean, it's like this <laughs> for hours and you're like, hey. I'll just take my own Learjet and tell the pilot to, uh, to, to just fly, yeah, just fly uh, below the radar. Way. Anyway, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, we started selling, uh, not this exact product. This was the, the, the one after it, but the simplifier, yeah. um, which was, um, that's not so simple. Simplifier. That's the not so simplifier. <laughs> this is the deluxe version. Anyway, this the, the this was a, a kind of a throwback to going. We had you know Strymon doing the Iridium and um, Walrus doing the ACS one, etc., etc. Yeah. All sort of digital amp modeling. And these guys went, well, what about ye Atomic. old fashioned uh, analog yeah. uh, circuitry? Yeah. So. There's no sense of menus or digital here, hence the reason why there's so many knobs on it. And they yeah. did this kind of amp modeling thing using analog circuitry. And, and if you want to watch that been, video, oh, it's, it's a up shout. there. Yeah, sorry, go on. Wildly popular. Yeah, that's wildly, wildly popular with lots and lots of guitar players that, that I've spoken to that have bought them just going, there's some sense of a slightly different connection, a more, a more natural, realistic feeling connection to the amp yes. using analog than there is on digital. Hey ho, that's hey another video. Ho, uh, that but sound? go and read about them. Hugely good reviews. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the latest offering from the guys at DSM Humboldt is a product called the Silver Linings. And as we know, every cloud has a silver lining. I don't know how we use that in and context every, of this. No, and everything happens for a reason. Every, yeah, silver lining of every, so every cloud. So here is the yeah. silver lining. This that's what I have to believe that. is a... Um, now, I'm... You know, I'm a little cynical nowadays. You, you may remember the, the, the phrase Jaffod uh, from a few years ago. Um, <laughs> and, and I kind of feel like fair play to the DSM Humboldt guys because they've tried not to do another Jaffod. So this is, um, it is an overdrive pedal or in one of its modes, it's an overdrive pedal, but they've gone to great, uh, oh, real, oh. you know, real gone to great lengths to uh, say it's not a clone of a pre-existing circuit. So it's not a Tube Screamer clone or a Rat clone. A clone or a Rat clone, clone or a clone it is, clone. Or a clone it is their bang. own unique drive circuit. Yeah. It has three modes of operation. So in normal mode, it's really a pedal. It's a pedal to use into an amp and we're using uh, the DP40 yeah. uh, as we usually do. It's a good pedal platform. Um, the best. There is a sense of a slightly different topology around the gain. So you've got this sort of pre-boost and pre-tone uh, that are affecting uh, the levels pre going into your first gain stage and into your tone stack. Um, we'll have a fiddle around with that in a minute. The second mode is a preamp mode. So this is designed to use now into, uh, could be a power amp straight into uh, like a guitar speaker, or what we're gonna try it with is the uh, Boss IR200 but with the amp modeling mm -hmm. switched off. So we're just using the IR200 as a speaker emulator. So that would be a bit like the, on the Origin FX where they've got the two EQ settings and then they've got a, where they turn it as a preamp. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got it up here, you know, so you Correct. can set it to, so it just becomes a preamp, which yep. is really clever. So actually. not amp, not power amp modeling, or no. it's just preamp um, modeling mm -hmm. into a speaker. And then mm -hmm. there's a mid boost range, which I think is again, more like um, a pedal mode again, but a pedal that you would then use very much as like a sort of to, to dump over a, a perhaps a pre-saturated sound for like a solo boost. If you just want that extra sort of mid range boosh, boosh. in the face. 
It has an on-off switch and no. uh, an additional boost <laughs> control. There's nothing inside. It's all analog because、uh, that's the sort of all the sort of technology these guys deal in.、Um, we've got three modes of clipping: soft, vintage, and hard.、Mm. Uh, they're e- very audibly different.、Um, The softest clipping has the most kind of treble rolled off and is the lowest volume and lowest kind of gain, and、yep. then through to the hard clipping, which is the brightest, sort of brashest, loudest gain.、Um, But you, it's not like really distortion, high gain distortion. It can it? be. Can it? I、okay. think what they're basically saying is what they've tried to do to this is go if you just want like just a sprinkle of hair through to full death metal. It's all in here. Death metal. Death metal.、Uh, yeah, <laughs> What's that? I didn't hear what you said. That's the best kind. <laughs>、um, right.、Um, okay, so we're doing some playing now. Yes. We're going to start in the obviously we're going to start in the normal pedal mode into our DB40. Yeah. We're going to start off on the the soft clipping mode、uh, with it, and we're not using the boost side just yet. I'll t- talk about that in a minute. I'll leave all the EQ kind of flat. And let's just see.、Uh, here's our clean tone. Yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned when I'm playing this rather、uh, affordable. Let's pull. It's really nice. I'm just going to try the back pickup. That's a nice、so、kind of rocky tone, you know, isn't it? Really、yeah. nice. I like it. Obviously, it's very easy to get、uh, a circuit to clip when you're using a, a Les Paul because it's driving into it already. Slightly more, yeah. If I just start to wind the game round, say twelve o'clock, still in the soft clipping mode. Now we have a boost side to the pedal as well, which、yes. obviously I might as well tell you about now. But we can use over any of these.、Uh, the boost side has two controls. It has、Ooh. pre-boost and Pre. master boost. Master、uh, boost. <laughs> master boost. Is that、um, master boost? Is that a Batman? Isn't it?、Uh, master boost. Master boost.、Uh, yeah, he was in Cream. <laughs>、um, he was、What? a front man, wasn't he? Uh, so. Uh, If I just want this to be more of just a clean volume boost, obviously I think I take the pre-boost down and just do it from the master boost. So here we go. And if I want to a sense that I'm kind of boosting the amount of gain,、uh, oh, I do、right. that from the pre-boost.、Uh, so this will do gain.、Uh, Less so volume, I guess. Now, that's good. Of course, or both. Maybe we want a gain boost and a volume or boost. Or both. That's really clever, man. You know what? That's a really good. I like that feature that you can. Okay, it's, it's almost like、uh, moving the boost、uh, before or after yep, the drive,、um, but you can dial it in as you want. And、I、the、like、boost also works completely independently. So if you simply want to add boost, boost. You- All right. So、that's that's very, I like that feature. That's、yeah. a super cool Good feature. feature right. Let's just quickly other move on to the vintage、uh, mode. Vintage.、Um, I'll、bit、play around、lean. perhaps with a little bit of EQ as well, just to sort of see what that sounds like.
What's going on now? Well, that's and it's, crazy. It, let's see if it does that in because I didn't turn the gain all the way up in soft Try mode. It. No, it's not. So in vintage mode, it's like it's saturated. The, like the compression <laughs> that comes in as soon as you turn the the gain yeah. round to about three o'clock is pretty epic. <laughs> I was not expecting I that. Wasn't but I, I Do you know what though? Fuzzy goodness, I like Velcro he is. So I, I completely get now this idea that this is not a clone. This is not a drive pedal that is going to just put you in a ballpark no matter where you set it. No, that's This is like there. all kinds of drive yeah. tones. It sounds anyway. exactly like when Oz takes his shoes on and off, <laughs> like Velcro. <laughs> uh, hard clipping now, which is a, which is the brightest kind of, um, I suppose, most modern sounding gain. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I can hear that. Oh, you get some, like... <laughs> it's just a bucket load of game wow. tones in here. There's a lot in there, uh, isn't it? Before we jump over Holy to the, the speaker emulator side, I'm just going to go to mid boost mode and wow. see how that kind of works any differently. Uh, here we go. Back to the soft <laughs> clipping <laughs> mode. <laughs> that was a so bit too no, screwy, that, wasn't it? This bit. Tell you really quick. We'll, we'll do the, that with. You. Really well, quickly, we'll tell you just quickly, right? and we'll just go through the, the four. I like that mid boost mode. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to mm. go back to the ah. normal mode now. Uh, and again, just a real quick whiz through the, the three different soft, vintage and hard There's another modes. very affordable guitar. Uh, oh, that's very different. Christmas uh, 2022. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> bucket loads of gain. Uh, bucket loads of, of control Incredible. around the types of distortions you want. I think that's the angle here. So d don't think of this as like it's uh, you know it's a it's a my new you know clon pedal or it's my new nothing, any of that it's stuff. it's it's all about. I, I guess in a way I can kind of see. Um, 
And this is a criticism as such, or more of an observation, but again, it feels to me like the kind of pedal that you might have in a studio rather than necessarily on your board because, you know, you'd have it to hand and you'd be going, what kind of guitar tone do I want yeah, for this? Yeah, 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 I, I agree, I agree. Rather agree. than agree. sort of, you know, necessarily feeling like, you know, you're going to be constantly bending down on your board and twiddling Trying to tweak a Can knob. You? But that's just me, Twinkle of course, knob. you could use it on your board now. And Lee, and Lee likes to tweak knobs. Okay, after a uh, quick bit of jiggery pokery, basically just plugging this into here rather than into the amplifier now. Wow, so what, much jiggery. Yes, so much, a lot, <laughs> mainly jiggery, less pokery. Um, Sadly. What you're now hearing is the silver linings in its preamp mode into the IR200 with its amp mode switched off. Or, um, so we're just using this as a cabinet emulator straight into our interface. Um, and I'll just do the same kind of thing. And again, we'll use some, some different pedals. I've not really checked out like millions of different speaker cabinets on here, but what we're using at the moment is a two by 12 uh, Fender Twin style with just a, a dynamic um, 421, what's that, the Bayer 421, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mic in yeah. front of it. Designed by pi Pirates, this, this pedal. IR. IR. <laughs> uh, if you've got <laughs> Dad. Uh, an IR200, you'll know that there are dozens and dozens of different cabinet modes in here. Uh, maybe uh, there's also, you know, there are also plugins in Logic and stuff like that if you just want to, you know, which you can emulate all this in as well if you want to. So, what are you trying to tell us? <laughs> I'm not sure. No. Uh, <laughs> lots of different ways that you can yeah. kind of capture this, I suppose, is what yeah. I'm trying to say. So here's our clean. Our nothing tone, nothing just the tone. cabinet emulation from here. here we go. And here is the switch again, <laughs> starting the sort of soft mode. And the reverb you're hearing is from the boss. Oh, yeah, that's right. A little bit more Gennard. So just gonna switch over to the vintage mode now. Vintage. And here we go. Was this the mode before that just went completely nuts in the game? I don't know yeah. how this, that's my favorite sound with this pedal yeah, does. Yeah, such a good, it's, like, it's, it's so fuzzy. It's, yeah, it's like, it's crazy. So I want to knuckle into so it and soft, just have a nap. Soft high gain. There's, there's none of that like, but yeah, vintage high gain, just totally. Lost it then. That's just some crazy. Okay, hard mode. Here we are. I love hard mode. will do again just ah, because nice. because you can is just show you things. what happens if you just find a different uh speaker now there's millions on here unfortunately here we millions. go so like a, a four by twelve a four by twelve classic <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, right. Um, I've lost my thread. Let's just go back to playing with another mode on this. Uh, let's see what the boost thing does if I start to boost that in. Okay. All right, that's high, that's loud, that's loud. I like Ooh, it a lot. It's going to be good. hear it, some tones with the Les Paul and then we'll just, that'll be it. That's the end of the video. That's the end of the video. Um, How much does it cost, Lee? It's £249. £249. £249. £249. £249. £249. £249. It's not too bad. Not but too dual bad. overdrive with the lots of stuff going lots on of features. in it. Lots of features. Lots of features. Lots of features. Um, Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's me. What has that got to do with anything? Uh, here I haven't we heard are. of Dell's new song yet. That's it. So what do you think, everybody? Kind of interesting, kind of cool, a little bit different to your average common old garden overdrive <laughs> pedal. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, and again, if you want to know more about the guys from DSM Humboldt, uh, go check out their website or maybe check out some of the videos that we've done on their um, simplifiers. They're very cool. Yeah, all of um, them. There's a bass one as well. There is a bass one. There's a bass one. Absolutely. So, no, that's really good. Yeah. Yes. And Thank again, you if you want to, maybe you want to hear some videos, hear some, watch some, uh, you know, experience one uh, IR200 video could be up there as well. It could be. Right. And if, if it, when we get to a million subscribers, there could be something really interesting. Uh, that might that happen. is being delivered tomorrow and you need to hang it on the wall next week, please, Mr. Pete. Anyway. I get my drill out. Yes, please. That would okay. be awesome. Well, uh, to watch that, like and subscribe. <laughs> get my drill out. <laughs> See you guys later. Thank you very much. Au revoir. Okay. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I did it.